welcome to another episode at the Hollows at Noon. I'm your host, Liam Noonan. I'm joined by my co-host. Perky, not redhead, but he's also blonde. With hot red highlights. Rocky Hollows. And... We are celebrating our one-year anniversary. God, it's already been a year. Yeah. <laughs> The first episode of this show was uh, released on YouTube October 7th, 2020. And then the second episode was released on October 20th. Yeah. That's a record. <laughs> that's the only time that's ever happened twice. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since then, we've been on and off. Yeah, on and off, recording once a month. I'm trying to trying to figure out how to fit uh, recordings into our schedule. Um, and as you can tell, I've been um, messing around with the format of the show. I released a music and talk episode and a conversation with my brother. Yeah, the first part of that episode that I uploaded to YouTube, it got like 35 views and it did extremely well for my channel. Like, as soon as I uploaded it, I posted I shared a link to um, Facebook, and that's where most of the traffic came from. In the water, see it swimming. But yeah, it, it's In the water, see it within its swimming. first day, it had 15 views, which was like 10 more than my usual video. Through <laughs> <laughs> the YouTube algorithm, fight the power. Unless you're my other channel, Chris Vision, in which case, thank you for showing my stupid your feet on me and your head on. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, how did that blow up in my game? I don't know. Yeah. For real, that is bizarre. Like, how the heck did my channel for the emergency alert system work? all that blow up and yet my gaming and live streaming and all their stuff on, that I've had for like 12 years is it? what is this? some sort of conspiracy yeah it's conspiracy against you so in this episode I would love to talk about Squid Game no I haven't Halloween. seen it no, no, I haven't seen it. Ah, uh, come no, on. No, no, no spoilers. No, 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 no. Wow. All right. Uh-uh. All right, so basically it's... Um, it's basically Hunger Games, but all the main characters get character development. Don't go any further. I haven't seen it. I uh, want to. No. Or I'm going to leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> and but I, I want to talk about that I'm probably going to leave it at that now I'm going to watch it and then come back to you next month <laughs> <laughs> um, no just like save it for next month it'll still be true obviously it'll still be yeah. true Give it, it it's Netflix's most successful show ever it's like 2021's Among Us trends Last year, everything, all the hype was Among Us. Yeah. This year, the hype is Squid Games. Let's, next year, it's probably going to be a K-pop group. 2022 October. I'm betting it now. It's going to be fucking <laughs> like, I don't care, Blackpink, Everglow, some K-pop group or something. Yeah, or BTS. BTS gets even bigger next year. <laughs> Or some brand new K-pop group that's going to literally just start like rising above the billboard out of 
the top 100 out of yeah. nowhere. Like, speaking of which, can we talk about how weird those McDonald's artist meals are? Like, honestly, like, the first of all, the, the first starting with the mm -hmm. Travis Scott meal, like, that was good. That was ridiculous. It was, <laughs> it was basically like a bacon double quarter pounder sprite and french fries you know what how ridiculous that was it was ridiculous to put with my brother mm -hmm. aka youtube on youtube ever weird productions literally no space literally his uh profile is literally a weird martyr picture mm -hmm. it was so ridiculous to the point where my brother made a meme video of it making fun of it with the big comfy couch clock stretch music in the background that's how ridiculous this was the or only... or like the young the teenagers pulling up to the drive through and blasting. microphone and blasting Astro World. I swear, yeah, wasn't it Sicko Mode or yeah. Franchise? I think at that point it was Franchise, but I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. No, I think it was a Sicko Mode because yeah. it's, it's his most successful song. So my my at the time of my ex boy my now ex boyfriend then was my boyfriend mm -hmm. Tom. Literally, we went to a McDonald's coming back from Fire Island. Yeah. He made me blast sicko mode into the damn fucking like <laughs> into the fucking <laughs> drive through window, and I'm just like, apologize. I was like, I'm so sorry about him. <laughs> he's he's, he's like, got to. Yeah. He's got to do the trend. You know what's sad? He didn't even get it on the video, so what was the point of it? <laughs> that video would be copyright claimed. Pretty much. Well, I mean, on TikTok. TikTok mm. technically would. Then again, I can have it then. And then there was Jay Balvin, which didn't do so well. It was kind of like a flop. A yeah. Flop. And then, wasn't it this year BTS at first? BTS and Saweetie. I kind of wanted to try out the sauces with the fries, I'm not gonna lie. Like the exclusive mm -hmm. sauces. And for me, I loved the Sweetie meal because you could literally, she made it sound so easy to just customize. Yeah. It. Plus, I love sweet and sour, and she called it so easy and sour. I'm just like, <laughs> I think I still have one somewhere in this room. It's not, it's expired, but I'm going to keep it for, for posterity. I don't care if it goes bad or No. Just for the memories. Yeah. I kind of want to try the Sweetie meal, but I missed out, sadly. Mm. Hoggies. Yeah, I missed out on it too. Um, what, who's next? Who do you think is gonna be next? My money says Carol G or I don't know Jack Harlow or Lil Nas X. Maybe Lil Nas X would be interesting. Yeah. The, oh my God. All the promotional. If you're first of all, sponsor us if you're listening. To McDonald's. <laughs> Second of all, who's looks to be Lil Nas X a little coffee? <laughs> all the promotional material for Lil Nas X would be interesting. Literally, just a clip of him grinding on a TV <laughs> while eating freaking sweet and sour and or eating barbecue with fries. Eating like a Big Mac. Oh God, just imagine that. Imagine that. <laughs> eating a Big Mac in while the prison. Or, or from... Yeah, or like, like with the Montero, like, yeah. Call Me By Your Name video. Or like the Jack Harlow, the Mons X clip. <laughs> God, they were new dancing. That was that was bold. Yeah. Like honestly, I love Lil Nas X now. Not just because LGBT representation in the media, especially that music, but because like just got that swag and a vibe that I kind of like it. You know? And he, it just stands out. Yeah. So, yeah. And he seems like a pretty funny guy. Yeah. Follow him on Twitter. Dude, he's literally going to have him and Jack Harlow perform butt naked on the <laughs> Okay, that probably would have been bad for us to see regulation. Yeah. Like, in a jock strap. One more cup of in like a new jock strap. Yeah. Can you imagine? Oh Someone would have uploaded it on a fucking freaking door hub. I remember um, when the Montero music video came out. Um, all of his, all of his fans just started tweeting at him, you know, release the, uh, unrated version. Release the Kraken. Uncensored version of Pornhub. You're right. And he, he teased it that he was actually going to do it for like a, a couple weeks. And then he named like, um, a different version of it where... 
No, it was um It was one more cup of up to the shower headshot. And then the rest of it was buffering. Cup of coffee for I go. So let's one more cup of coffee for uh, just Oh my god. Just leave it right now. Yeah. We'll well, we'll play it at the break. I was literally looking at the uncensored version of it. Let me just... I got it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I was trying to find the uncensored version of the video. But, and I was like, uh, nope. Yeah, nope. <laughs> I'm not getting that copyright claim. No. I'm just looking up for posterity. <laughs> that one without music. Not the same though. Yeah. Yeah. I also think a Shen C Emil could be interesting. Like she's coming up, you know? Yeah. Like for me, I work at a radio station where I play top forty hits and I'm seeing new artists and music every day, like Olivia Rodrigo, who I honestly kind of like now. Not gonna yeah. lie. Her music got me through that breakup where last the last episode last month I was kind of going through hell emotionally. Didn't help that it was also that Mercury was also retrograde. In retrograde. You know what? Fuck Mercury. It's my <laughs> turn. I'm retrograding now. Screw you. <laughs> Just Venus as a boy. Not me quoting Bjork. Love her. <laughs> yeah. I never really got that um, whole Mercury and retrograde thing. It's an astrology thing. I'm a Taurus, so I'm, and I kind of love, like, for me, I love astrology. It's just so interesting and, you know, fascinating. But it's also irritating in the case of Mercury's retrograding, for, for, like how mm. it does that. And I'm just like, screw you, Mercury. I matter. I'm retrograding now. It's my turn. Deal with it. All right. So I think this episode is going to be a little bit short because I'm kind of running out of time. Yeah. He has a cl- Zoom class tonight. Yeah. Today. But uh, yeah. So a little, little bit of catch up and like a yay, one year. Mm-hmm. Let's just get to 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. So Take I, a break. Yeah. So this is the first year in a few years where I've been single on Halloween. Yeah. And my friends and I are going to go hit out the New York City Gay Club the night before Halloween. Nice. And I'm going to be an angel, but I'm also going to try to be like a sexy angel, I guess. I've never actually broke out of my comfort zone with costumes before, but I'm young and I kind of want to. I'm just get have fun, you know? I'm also deciding to stream on Twitch two times this week instead of one. Uh, Thursday at 8 and Halloween next Sunday mm. at also at 8. This week I'm actually streaming Who's Your Daddy with my friend Little Irish One. Shout out to you one time. And then on Sunday, I may or may not be streaming with famous, almost well, new, uh, upcoming Twitch Pokemon streamer Tanuki. Mm. I may or may not be streaming with her. She's my friend. Chaz, you want to talk to me here on this? Um, but odds are she's probably going to say no because it's not a Pokemon game. Yeah. But she also knows that these are pretty good RPG games. Mad Father and the Sour, the RPG board games are going to play on Sunday. Fingers crossed, but my odds are I'm probably going to be doing it myself. <laughs> yeah. 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 Let's see. Uh, Let's wrap up, yeah, we got a minute before we yeah, could. Well, we could we do another 15 minutes. Yeah. Talk about Halloween death. Yeah. yeah. I'm just Yeah, and I'm trying to input ad breaks for when we do get sponsored because we're getting pretty close to getting sponsored. No way. Yeah, we have Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know but we have like 20 out of the 50 um, listeners on Anchor. Will Nas X on Pornhub, supposedly? Question mark. <laughs> Emotional. Not clickbait. Not clickbait. Real. Not fake. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it's and everyone who knows us knows that we have snack channels. Yeah, so we're eating, a, we're eating a bag of chips. If we get to 50, I would literally start like, doing stuff.
Oh my god. I'm kidding, but most likely outside. <laughs> Alright, and we'll be right back. We're back, and that video was such a tease. Yeah. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> yeah. Not me looking at porn. <laughs> I'm just no. kidding. Bye. Girl, bye. <laughs> but yes, so the uncensored ver video for Industry Baby was literally get to the shower, and it was just buffering the entire thing. I'm just like so disappointed. That was so disappointing. <laughs> you have more graphics with the uncensored with the censored version, honestly. Yeah, that was disappointing. <laughs> and that is just buffers for the rest of the video. I'm just like, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> All right. But at the same time, it's YouTube, so I'm really not surprised. Yeah. So, you mentioned you're streaming on Halloween. Yes, I did. And I also just showed him the, the uh, clip of how my co totally complicated way of how I decided which game to play each week. Which is not complicated at all. Yes. It's, a, it's so complicated. I just live stream, li not even live stream, but record a video of me spinning a wheel with game logos on it. And whatever it lands on, it just... That's what I play. It's so complicated. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm being totally sarcastic, by the way. I know. <laughs> I think you could tell. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do for Halloween, though. What are you, you going to be? I think I'm just going to stay home. You're going to be pajama girl. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be an angel, as I mentioned before the break. A sexy. Supposedly... I'm going to be an angel, but at least for the club part, the New York City gay club part, I'm going to be a sexy angel. I had a breakup. I'm single and I'm ready to mingle, even though there's, I have though else, which is also why I got Tinder and I have at least 89 uh, matches. 10 people. Are you I, so lucky? I have 89 matches, 10 people who I've actually like spoken to. Mm -hmm. No, not 10, sorry, 15 people actually. And at least three people that stand out, one person specifically. Whose name starts with the letter J. In the many years I've been on Tinder, I've only had like eight matches. Mm. And I don't, I only find success whenever I'm not on the app. I have to delete it for a couple months, reinstall it, and then it'll show me that I have two people liking me man that's because uh tinder and grinder if you're gay like me are like such toxic communities to the point where you're probably gonna get hurt a lot probably gonna get rejected a lot mm -hmm. <laughs> probably gonna have your heart crushed a lot yeah i took a bit for that one a lot but you should give up because if I can get 89 matches, wait, make that 90. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Rubbing my face. Literally, my phone blew up all week last week. Like the first 24 hours, I got like 29 matches. Like 24 hours. Actually, no, like 24. Like I feel like for every hour, there's a new match. Uh, <laughs> I'm shaking my head in disgust. And I'm nodding my head, and how the hell did I do that? <laughs> Don't match with my pulling. <laughs> I'm just a sassy, but also very shy little boy. Who also likes to kiss boys. Yeah, I'm tired of him being tired of him. Poggies. Major Pog. Yeah. <laughs> Pog champ. Yes. Poggy Woggies. And I also had a few guys hit me up on it. Like, at least two guys who are thinking of being a friend for both of them. One of them is really sweet, but at the same time will not make an effort to meet me, so... And his name starts with A, and the city is a famous city in Texas, that's his name. Okay. Um, and I want to be his friends, but at the same time he's not making any time to really come out or get to know me or meet up, so I'm kind of just giving up on him, sadly. Another guy whose name starts with P. Um, he's a nice guy, but I can't see myself in. I don't know. 
But I still want to be his friends, obviously. Like, I hate how, or, like, like, I just hate, like, rejecting people because, like, they're so, like, a lot of them are just so nice. And I feel like a jerk. I don't know. My heart's a mess, guys. Mm -hmm. But the guy who I clicked with the most is next to him, Jay. And yeah. Other, and you can literally think of his name when I say, like, a lover. Um, okay. He lives in Queens, and I like a lot. Way to make it Halloween themed. Yeah. Like, that's literally his name. Like, I told you, like, it's like a wanker. First, the blank is his name. <laughs> and he also subscribed to me on Twitch. <laughs> Made it worth the painful three hours where I tried playing Among Us, but nobody in the audience wanted to join, and mm. my friends either. So it's like, you know what? I quit. The stream is over. Dude, last week's stream was terrible on Twitch. Literally, like it was a shit show. <laughs> I tried playing Jackbox, where I had at least seven followers, so that could be at least been nine of us playing. Yeah. Only two of the audience members out of seven wanted to join, which is sad. Mm. I'm just like, look, I get I'm not famous, but try to become the affiliate. Come on! Yeah. Audience participation. You want your data leaked. You want to become... I just gave him the seriously the most, uh, concerned most I possibly could. I'm, I <laughs> made a reference to the Twitch data leak that happened like a oh, month ago. Oh god, with Amazon too, yeah. right? Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't affiliate myself with Slammers on. Goodbye. I'm not even gonna, I don't even want to talk about that tonight. Yeah, let's not. Yeah. But, but one thing I'll confess is that my angel wings came from there. <laughs> not even is, that. That's. <laughs> I spit my chip my <laughs> yeah, But it wasn't even for Prime. It was a local, a sell, someone, actual seller, mm -hmm. not Amazon, like an actual like person selling it. And okay. not Alexa, this bitch. She oh, didn't right. even turn on. She hates me. But that's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go close this out. There's a trash can. Oh, well, oh, there's a garbage bag over there. <laughs> okay, this is a garbage bag. Let's clean my room. So I was trying to clean my room today, and uh, yeah, I didn't get very far. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Today, I actually didn't have a class, so it worked out. I thought this is all about my life. What's up with you, Liam? <laughs> uh, you know, I've been spending a lot of time at Nassau. You can take I've been spending a lot of time at the, the library there. Uh, I watched the new Halloween movie. Oh, yeah, the new one. Yeah. Was it good or bad? Well, it's okay. It so, looks good. I was gonna say on a scale from Richter, is it good? Would you rate good, bad, or downright ugly? It's it's between good and bad. Mm -hmm. Oof. You know it. It looks good. You know the kills in it are creative and awesome, but the story is a mess. Hollywood. Yeah. There was one movie that I'm terrified to watch because I hate blood and gore movies. Yeah. Uh, remember that movie, Who's Your Next? I think so. Where the people in the animal mask came out. Now, it made me think of, like, the Wyatt family from, like, WWE. With Bray Wyatt, Braun Strowman, and Luke Harper, RIP, by the way, and uh, Eric Rowan. There's but people our, with animal masks in Squid Game. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, like death, like the murders in um, who, your next made me terrified to open a window, first of all. Mm -hmm. And also deathly afraid of sharp objects for like a year. <laughs> I can't really do uh, demons. Yeah. Exorcist is not your forte then. No. Yeah. I tried. Watching Freddy vs. Jason, uh, and I had to turn it off immediately within like the first minute because it's a close up of Freddy's eyes with the burn makeup. That scared me. Oh my god, it's <laughs> Yeah. 
we get a, we have a ton of like t-shirts at my job so professors at like Halloween and Friday the 13th. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, okay, uh we have a lot of Halloween stuff. And people always ask, Do you have costumes? I'm like, no, go to spare Halloween. They're owned by, like, we own them, but the same, like, Spencer's own spirit, but we, but Spencer's themselves do not have Halloween costumes. Spencer, sponsor us! I'm literally your employee! Seriously, mm. Spencer's LLC, Spencer Gift, Spirit, Poison, I don't care. <laughs> giving Everybody that was. Yeah. Like, so far, it consists of Spencer's and McDonald's. Now you don't. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. I think the one thing that would be disappointing is Amazon or Spotify. Well, we're on Amazon Music, so we yes. should. Spotify should be scrounging. Yeah, but we should really stop with the anti Amazon. Yeah, really... yeah, keep getting emails from them being like, we want you back. I'm like, no, you know. <laughs> That's all. That is all. But anyway, I got mm -hmm. <laughs> I used to have a job at the Nassau Coliseum. No, it's coming back. Really? Yeah. yeah, I just got an email saying, you know, if you want to join us, we'll rehire you. Yeah. If you hear a bag crinkling, it's because the and the bag of chips is right next to the microphone. And nobody ever taught you how to live out on the streets. So now you're gonna have to go and get. Mhm. Mm yeah. So this last week, WWE Draft went to full effect because Crown Jewel in Saudi Arabia just ended. And there were results from the, from the uh, 2021 WWE Draft that I liked and didn't like. More so didn't like. You don't like that CBS Sports has a pop-up ad. As a pop up when. I was just like, please disable Adblock. I'm like, oh, screw that. Do you want to I'm not disabling Adblock. I love my Adblock. Plus, I would never want to. It's always so I get to get into it. I think a few things that I liked, though, was that they called up. Um, that they called up Xia Li, which I didn't expect at all. Xia Li is the first Chinese female superstar in the WWE. Hmm. They also called up Hit Row, the tag team faction featuring. Um, Isaiah Swerve Scott, Adonis, Adonis B. Crab, aka Brianna Brandy, she yeah. you one time, and uh, fourth person, I, I don't know the names, I'm really bad with names, I'm terrible. Oh, Top Dollar, that was it, yeah, right. it's literally right here. <laughs> um, and Rich Holland from NXT, some of the NXT call-ups were like my favorite part. Yeah. Because they called up a ton of people, including Aaliyah. Who's been in NXT for seven years? Where most people are there for like three or four. Hmm. They finally, I'm proud of her. She like never gave up, and she finally found her place, and now she's on SmackDown. The what? But a few things I didn't like was that first of all, they didn't call up Dakota Kai from from NXT, which they should have. Honestly, should they had her at, at the dark matches and main events, so they really should have brought up Dakota Kai. Like team Ke captain of Team Kick literally had so many storylines and has been there for four years now yeah or maybe five years <laughs> they really need to bring up dakota kai stats like there's nothing for her like some people are called up yes without being an nxt women's champion but they should but like dakota kai definitely has been there and she's pro proved herself she paid her dues and she should be up there Another thing I didn't like was that they called up Shotzi, Blackheart, and Tegan Knox only for them to be split up as a tag team. Mm. Like, what's the point of go telling them that they can qualify for a tag team title shots if they're just going to be split up and then igno ignored and then split up later on, like during the draft? Like, what was the point of all this? Um, another thing that I didn't like is that 
there's more definitely a lot 14 women on Monday Night Raw compared to SmackDown who only has 10. Mm. And the fact that the Raw Women's Champion Charlotte Flair is on SmackDown where Becky Lynch the sorry, Raw yeah, where the SmackDown Women's Champion Becky Lynch is now on Raw. So the titles are completely wrong. Yeah. I mean, as this isn't revolving around the draft, obviously, but they, the title exchange was so disrespectful from what I heard. Like, Charlotte, they literally threw the titles at each other. The sheer disrespect. Like, I don't know if you're hyping up Survivor Series, which, by the way, is on the line this year at UBS mm. or at Barclays Center. I really want tickets, but I can't afford them. Like, I don't know if you're trying to be disrespectful or something. Or, if, I like, I don't know if it's for hype for the Survivor Series or if they're just being disrespectful. But I can tell you one thing. Char- Vince McMahon backstage was not happy about it. <laughs> yeah, the, C- C- the uh, CEO of WWE. But one more thing that I did like is that, first of all, mm-hmm. Eva Marie was written off television with an injury. I hate her. Yeah. Eva has no talent. She can't sell. Well, she's a good actress, but she cannot sell any WWE moves for shit. She couldn't even sell being actually injured by hmm. Shayna Baszler. And that's real. Her arm, gone, like, not gone, but, like, injured. And yeah. she couldn't even make it look real. And then, but one thing I did like was that, besides her being written off television, was that Mia Yim was drafted to Raw, not as Reckoning of Retribution, but as herself, Mia Yim. Mm-hmm. Which is great, because that was a disaster. Um, yeah. And I think that's it. I guess so. That's all my WWE stuff yeah, right now. Yeah, we are mm-hmm. a minute over. Really? Yep. Whoopsie. That's all right. All right. Where can we find you, Liam? Um, Twitter. I'm. My handle is uh, Liam High School One. I also run the Hallows at Noon Twitter account. Um, and I'm also on Instagram at Dog Possessed. Where they can, where can they find you, Rocky? Oh, there's a plethora of places you can find me, but I'll keep it simple. Most of my socials are Rocky Hollows or that Rocky. My Twitter is that Rocky NY. You can find my Twitch channel, which is twitch at twitch.tv slash Rocky Hollows. No space. Please mm-hmm. sponsor me. I'm trying to get an affiliates and not get lost in the void that is now Twitch and YouTube, which my YouTube is also Rocky Hollows. You can find my Instagram handle, which is at official Rocky Hollows. And you can also, to, and my live streams on Twitch, uh, the Rocky Hollows Twitch channel is every Thursday at 8 p.m. And for one that we, for Halloween on Sunday only, also at 8 p.m. on Sunday, mm. this week only, Eastern Standard Time. So if you're not in Eastern, calculate your time and go from there. And one more thing, you can also catch me on 90.3 WHPC FM, the voice of NASA Community College, as I bring you all the latest hits from the 2K2 through today on the NASA Mix. My hour is 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern, so also calculate your time. I bring you the NASA Mix new Act 2 with Mm. Rocky Hollows, formerly known as DJ Rocky C. We're on all the major streaming services, including Odyssey and iHeart and TuneIn, so including all your smart device devices like Alexa and Google Home. You can find this podcast also on all those streaming s- services, except for, I think, Odyssey. I haven't heard from them yet. So we're on. So basically, you can hear me either way. Yeah. <laughs> streaming. Or you can listen to the radio show at nccradio.org. Again, Fridays, 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern. Mass on 90.3 WHPC. Peace out. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween.
Thank you.